Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen and this is my channel. So I'm going to, I'm a little hungry and it's that girly time of the month and I'm feeling very stressed, very emotional, um, very angry, angry for no reason at all, just very angry hormonal anger I think and um, just very PMSy all over the place just not good I want to eat so bad I'm so hungry and it is currently after one o'clock and today is my fasting day but I'm not gonna last till dinner time um, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm gonna eat and then I'm going to read some comments and just chit chat with you guys while I do a little mukbangy kind of video to share with you guys. I know this won't probably be posted on Friday. It might be. Um, so you might see this the next day, but it is currently Friday the 22nd of March. So what I'm going to eat there is about, and I'm not measuring this, just be forewarned. Um, a lot of eating on the obesity code doesn't have to do with measuring because a lot of days you're only eating one meal a day and a portion. So I haven't been measuring much of anything. So I'm not going to measure today either. I'm just going to show you what I'm eating because this is not a planned meal. This is more of like a fill-in meal and a snack because fasting is not working today. So what I'm having today is there's about a quarter of a cup maybe a half, mm, I would definitely not say a half of a cup probably a quarter of a cup a little over a quarter of a cup of the Oinko's triple zero vanilla yogurt and I'm just going to eat it out of the container because there's not a, not a lot left and I don't feel like dirtying a bowl when I can just eat out of the container and then I also have my Bare Naked. I absolutely love this granola. It is the best granola I've ever had. This is the maple pecan with maple syrup, praline, praline pecans, and cinnamon. I'm just going to add some of that to my yogurt. I also have two stalks of celery and two of the Laughing Cow creamy Swiss cheeses. So that's what I'm going to eat. Not too exciting. Thankfully, I don't have anything exciting in my apartment to eat. Or I'd be totally binging out right now. Because that's how I feel. Again, not measuring the granola. Just eating it. Mmm. There's a big one. Let's read the ingredients. Oh. I need to get some water. Be right back. And I have my pretty Slay Sparkle Repeat cup tumbler that Miss Amy made for me. Her link will be in the description below where you can pick up your own custom tumbler. Water. I will only always put water in my tumbler. I like to keep my drink containers separate another little weird fact about me I don't like to put soda or anything else in a cup that I'm going to drink water out of because to me even when you wash it it still tastes off I like to mush my granola with my yogurt maybe that's weird I don't know
right, so I have my laptop set up over here. Um, I will read some of the comments left on some of my previous videos. So the first comment is from Anon Anon, and Anon Anon says, please research the company to find out if they test on animals. No one should be supporting that. If they do test on animals, dump them. I completely agree with you. I am becoming more conscious of the products that I choose and whether they are tested on animals. I'm not claiming to be perfect on that right now, but I'm like I said, I'm trying to become more conscious of that because I do completely support the non-testing of animals, on, products on animals. So that is definitely from here on out something that I am going to be looking more into. Um, I have never supported animal testing. I think it's disgusting. Um, but I, that's probably hypocritical of me because probably right now I am using products that are tested on animals. But like I said, I am becoming more conscious of that and moving forward I will do that. And I completely agree with you. Okay, the next comment comes from... Landry the raccoon and Landry, I love that name, says, I can never walk a mile in your shoes, but I can say that you inspire me to be my best self. Keep your eyes on the prize. Thank you very much, Landry. That was a very sweet comment. And I am glad that I can inspire you to be a better you. That's exactly why I'm here. Um, no matter the reason why I inspire someone, even if it's just somebody who was like, oh my god, I never want to let myself get to that and I need to get to the gym, even if that is the way I inspire someone, I'll take it. Um, we all have to be inspired by something or someone, so that is definitely not a put down to me if someone says that. That's I'm not inferring that that's what Landry is saying, but I'm just saying... Any way that I can inspire someone is definitely a good thing for me. I'm putting cheese on my celery. All right, the next comment is from Josh S. And Josh S. says, I feel very happy for you, not only because you've lost so much weight, but because you found a key to sustained weight loss and more importantly, future weight control. You're young and you have a beautiful face. Now you're losing weight. Keep working on your inner self, go deep, and thank the part of your mind that sought in the past to protect you by making you eat. And tell it in the simple, clear words that now you will greatly benefit by losing weight, constant desire for food. Do this daily. Good luck. Thank you so much, Josh. That is very sweet of you. And I agree. There is definitely a part of me, a deep deep part of me that has sought to fix things by eating an excess amount of food for very many years and definitely something that I still have to work on and it will probably be a lifelong thing that I work on but you're definitely right it's something that I have to tell myself daily in order to keep moving forward and have success in the future. Okay, here is, if you're wondering what I'm doing now, this is celery with my cheese. Um, the next comment is kind of a negative one, but I'm going to read some of the negative ones as well because not everything is positive in this world, right? At least we focus on the positive, but there is negative, so we will address those as well right now. Um, Desert Rose, Desert Rose says... She looks bigger. You can't fool me. The picture ain't proof. You do a live weight in. And just throwing that out there, it's a weigh in, and weigh is spelled W E I G H, not W H E I G H T. Just throwing that out there. Um, first of all, no one is trying to fool you. If you feel fooled, then that is on you. Um, I'm not here to fool anyone. I am definitely extremely happy that I'm under 500 pounds and 
I guess the proof will be when I take my little camera with me and I show you me getting an MRI because I was never able to get an MRI before because I was over 500 pounds. As far as a live weigh-in, I can certainly do that again next time. It's hard for me to figure out how to point the camera, hold the camera. That's why it was just easier for me to take a picture of the camera, of the scale. I'm not trying to fool anyone, but no matter how I would do a weigh-in, if I would have 13 people beside me verifying that that's what I weighed, there would still be people out there who's going to say I'm lying. So I'm doing it the way I feel like I can do it the best way and what's comfortable for me. I'm sorry if everybody isn't okay with that. It's okay that you're not okay with it, but I'm certainly not trying to fool anyone. And if you feel that way, I, I'm sorry you feel that way. It's unfortunate that you feel that way, but that's on you, not me. Um, and as far as looking bigger, I don't feel I look bigger. I feel I actually look smaller. I mean, it's going to take a long time for me to actually look smaller because I have a lot of weight to lose, obviously. Um, I was able to order a size smaller shirt. My pants are getting a little looser. Nothing humongous at the moment, but still I can tell a difference in myself. And like I said, as long as I can tell the difference... That's all that matters to me. Um, mm. Here's a fun comment. This was on my Ipsy Glam Bag video that I posted. Ella lifts bacon, cute name, because let's face it, who doesn't like bacon, right? Um, oh my God, she says, oh my God, I used to love Ipsy. It's like getting a present every month. Totally agree, that's why I like it. Boxy Charm is also awesome. I've never tried BoxyCharm yet. I have been tempted to try BoxyCharm, but I haven't yet. I might think about that in the next couple of months. I'm not sure. I'm wanting to try to save money, and that's a little spending outside of my budget right now because, like I said, I wanted to save to buy living room furniture. But I might have to do that. I might pause my Ipsy for... I'm going to get my Ipsy next month, but I might in May pause my Ipsy and try BoxyCharm for a month to see how I like it. I do want to also try the Ipsy Plus. Um, I didn't see where I was eligible for that yet, so maybe it's not completely rolled out, but I would like to try that as well, but we'll see. Um, Ella also says, I stopped because I had so many damn bags and I felt bad for just throwing them away, lol. I usually never end up using everything. Usually I just loved one or three and the other things I just hoarded and would end up throwing everything away six months later. I think it's a great thing for sure and it's fun to see the products. Totally agree with you. Um, I just recently, I think it was last spring actually, I cleaned out my huge pile of makeup bags. If I had known that I was going to start doing YouTube and giving away prizes, I would have saved them to give away. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing to give away, especially the makeup products that I don't use. If you guys think that's tacky, let me know um, because I don't want to do something that's tacky. <laughs> But, um, no, definitely I do agree with you. I just, I when I cleaned out my big stockpile of makeup bags, I've been getting Ipsy for probably five years and, or maybe longer than that, and I had a huge pile of makeup bags. I gave tons of them away. I took a lot of them downstairs to our common room and put them in the common room where p other people take things that they don't want. And then I took a ton of makeup and beauty kind of beauty products that I 
didn't use or didn't want and I also gave those away too so definitely feel you on only liking a couple of things in the bag and to be honest I get it hoping that I get nail polish every month and when in reality I could just buy a bottle of nail polish for probably cheaper than I pay for the Ipsy but it is fun to get the Ipsy in the in the mail and see what you're gonna get it's kind of like a present in the mail every month so I totally agree with you Ella let's see Here's a comment from Colorado Native Wood, and she says, my male cat pees on my husband's work pants when he's mad at me and he does that to make a statement. He only does it when I'm in the room to see him do it and it will stare at me the whole while while he's saying, screw you, mom. Definitely have had that happen with my cat, with Piggy. Um, like I said, he gets mad sometimes, and when he is mad at me, he definitely shows me he's mad at me. He will either ignore me and he will just stare at me, give me this death stare like, I am not happy with you, Mom. Or he will pee on my bed. Like I said, that's very occasional now, but definitely do that. And I remember my mom telling me before I was born, her and my dad had a dog. And um, I can't remember the dog's name now. But she said that... She, the dog was used to my mom because my mom was a stay-at-home wife and a stay-at-home mom and She was the dog was used to my mom being home with it all the time so when she did leave the house and she did go somewhere and That would upset the dog so the dog would pee in the middle of their bed because she was mad at them So they definitely have a way of telling you that they're not happy with you for sure. All right, the next comment is from Cat Lady 003 and Cat Lady says, "Hi Jen, so glad that you are feeling better now. You were greatly missed and loved too. Amy's tumbler is also very gorgeous and Keto Mama let, gave you a pretty very pretty gift. Thank you very much and I agree with you. The tumbler is amazing. Let me just show you one more time." Tumblr. And Keto Mama's present was very beautiful as well. I have it in my bedroom because I showed my friend when we were FaceTiming and I left it in my bedroom so I don't have it to show you but you can definitely go back to that video, um, the Where Have I Been video to see what Keto Mama made me. She made me a beautiful sun and moon um, she told me what it was called, but now I can't remember what it's called again. But it was very beautiful, and I love it. All right, the next comment is from Lily Lou. And Lily says, you have a beautiful face, a pleasant voice, and are obviously bright and articulate. Thank God you are coming out into the world on a regular basis. Keep it up, Jen. Thanks for a bright spot to the day. Thank you so much. That is so sweet of you. I definitely... Um, I'm glad that I am coming out into the world on a regular basis now. It's very hard to be shut in. It's very, on one respect, I enjoy being alone a lot, but on the second hand, when you deal with agoraphobia, it is very difficult because if you do want to go somewhere, you want that option whether you want to go somewhere. And you don't want to be shut in because you feel you can't leave. And that's a lot of what agoraphobia deals with is you feel you can't leave. So definitely glad that I am able to go out and about and enjoy life a little bit more. Looking forward to being going to be able to do it much more in the coming months. And thank you very much for the compliments. I appreciate that so much. And that was very kind of you. Thank you. 
Um, the next question or the next comment comes from Marie S. And Marie S. says, infomercial. Um. Here's the thing. It's not an infomercial. Um, I'm not getting paid to promote a product. I am. I was definitely sent a product for free to try to tell you how I like them. Um, and that is was in regards to the Formulate shampoo bit that I had in my video for the weigh-in Wednesday. And as a side note, remember that if you want to enter the Formulate giveaway, the link will be in the description where you can win your own personalized shampoo and conditioner. Not an infomercial. Um, but I definitely like to... I've had quite a few companies contact me. <coughs> Excuse me. As I'm sure many of YouTubers have. And like I explained in that video, I am very picky about the ones I choose to work with or want to work with. There are ones that I feel that would be beneficial to my viewers or people that watch my videos, subscribers, whether you subscribe or you just view my videos. Um, things that I'm interested in, of course. So I'm never going to pitch you something or suggest a product that I don't fully like and don't fully am on board with. I actually had a company send me a product uh, a couple months ago and I didn't like it so I didn't do a video and I wrote back to the company and I explained to them that I did not like the product and that I wasn't trying to be mean and I would definitely pay for the product product if they wanted me to because they sent it to me in hopes that I would do a review on it and I just didn't care for it so I did offer to buy what they sent me and they thanked me for for trying their product and they declined payment. So that's just how YouTube works. Um, a ton of YouTubers have product placements and sometimes you don't even realize they have product placements in their videos. I know quite a few YouTubers that I used to watch that would make regular videos. Now I only see them put out a video when they are sponsored by a product, which there's fine, you know, you gotta get paid somehow. And these people are doing YouTube and internet businesses to make a living. And before I started doing YouTube, I was probably that judgmental as well. But it's just how it works. And like I said, whether I have a product to suggest to you guys or not, I am still here making videos because this is what I enjoy. It's just an added perk to making videos. So... The next comment was on my last Walmart grocery haul and it is from 6 Lennon 66 and they said I never wash my fruit and have no ill effects shrug don't care people are paranoid Freeze your shredded cheese. I assume you just, you're just going to melt it anyway, so the texture issue won't matter. And then they also left a comment on another one of my videos and said new, that they were a new subscriber. Thank you for subscribing. Um, they said, you're awesome. Thank you very much. Congrats on being under five. Never look back. Amazing. Thank you very much. I don't plan... I never want to be over 500 pounds again. Um, I spent a long period of my life over 500 pounds and even a part of my life over 600 pounds. So definitely want to start enjoying some of my life under 500, under 400, maybe even under 300 eventually. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. About the fruit and vegetables, I know it's a big controversy and there's people that are on both sides of the fence about washing the produce. 
I know it is suggested by, um, I, well, I can't say that it's suggested. I assume that it's suggested by like you, the USDA or whoever sanctions stuff like that, that you do wash your fruits and vegetables. To be completely honest with you guys, I rarely do wash my fruits and vegetables. I do occasionally, but so far I've survived as well. I'm not saying it's the healthiest thing, I'm not suggesting that everybody out there just not wash your fruits and vegetables. That's just something that I don't do usually. I don't know if you should or not, but that's just my personal choice. I have no suggestions either way, like six Lennon 66 says she doesn't well, I'm assuming it's a she they don't either I don't either so I'm right there with you um but like I said whoever does you're more than welcome to and I'm glad that you do and I don't know touchy subject for some people all right my next comment is from Joey and Joey says Hi Jen, I have leukemia and I have pain every single day. I always say that it sucks your soul dry of all your happiness and energy and I still have doctors acting like they don't understand why I'm so tired. I mean, come on, I've had this pain every day for three years now. Honestly, healthcare professionals make me crazy. First, let me tell you, I am so sorry you have been in pain for that long. Um. I cannot imagine living in pain for that long. Um, my everyday pain only started in the, within the last year or so. Um, so I do understand everyday pain and I understand what you say when you say it sucks you dry of everything and you're completely right, it does. Um, and I completely agree with you on healthcare professionals driving you crazy because you ask them a question and they say well it shouldn't or like you ask them a side effect to a medicine well it shouldn't make you feel this way or you shouldn't be feeling that way but yet I am and you act like that I'm either making it up or I don't know what they expect but they do make me crazy as well um, I'm very sorry that you have leukemia I hope that you're able to get treatment or you are getting treatment and I send you all my prayers and best wishes hoping for a good outcome for you don't give up um, like I said I know I have cancer too as you know um, so I'm in that battle with you as well and we can't give up we got to keep pushing forward and I definitely think the struggle makes us stronger um, it's hard to say that when you're in so much pain and you wonder why you have to live every single day of your life in pain. I'm going to try not to cry because it's very emotional for me to, um, I hate to hear somebody else is in pain. And when I can relate to that feeling of being in pain as well. So my heart goes out to you and I'm sending you all the best wishes and light and positivity and prayers for easing of your pain and healing. Um, hang in there. So thank you very much for commenting. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you feel better. Um, woo, that was an emotional one. the next comment is from Carol Roseberg and Carol is so sweet she always leaves me a kind comment every all my videos she just says good morning and hello to me so hello and good afternoon Carol and Carol's comment says hi Jen your hair looks amazing did you use some of the new products you just got and I love the ipsy bag and the brush everything is awesome thank you very much Carol and no in that video I had not used any of the new hair care products I used some this morning when I washed my hair, but the person I spoke to, the my contact that I was emailing back and forth, she told me to, the first day after you use the shampoo, to not expect to be able to wear your hair down because your hair will be a little greasy and a little oomphless, and so it's definitely in that stage because I used it for the first time this morning. So 
it's definitely just the first day and I expect it to start looking better after the first couple of shampoos like she told me so but thank you for noticing that my hair looked nice um, I've been trying to use less heat on it because I've become quite addicted to my flat iron and I know that's not healthy for my hair so when I washed my hair before that video and before this video I didn't put anything in it or dry it or any heat at all I just let it dry naturally and then put it up because my hair is a big puff ball when I don't so that is that this is really helping me to diffuse the need to binge because now I'm not feeling quite as hungry as I was when I very first started I'm still just snacking gently at my yogurt and I probably won't finish this whole thing so this is really helping me I might do this when I feel like binging I'll just read some comments and chat with you guys and get those binge cravings out of the way um Cake Baby commented on my Weigh In Wednesday when I talked about how many Advil I take and Cake Baby said there is no way, no ways in caps, you should be taking that much Advil. That's crazy. Yes, it's definitely crazy. I don't advise anyone to take that much Advil. It's definitely not safe. Um, there was a couple people who left a comment saying that my doctor should give me something for pain and I was definitely offered something for pain. I think that, well, before I started the obesity code of way of eating, I was getting to a place where I was going to have to ask for something stronger than Advil for the pain because I was very concerned with taking so many Advil a day. and. But thankfully, now that I am on the Obesity Code food plan, my pain has lessened now. Today, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I am in quite a bit of pain, but that's because this is my normal time of the month, and I don't expect that to completely subside within just a few weeks. My pain between menstrual cycles definitely diminished about a week I'd had no pain so that was definitely better that's one of the added benefits of the obesity code food plan or obesity code way of eating method I keep calling it a food plan but it's really not a food plan so when you guys hear me say food plan just know that it's not an actual food plan it's a method of eating so just to clear that up but I agree with you too much Advil not a good thing and I will not go back to taking that many ever again um, I'll definitely seek something stronger. I just don't like to take prescription medications. I don't even like to take Advil if I don't have to. And that was just because I had to because I was in so much pain. So, Okay, the next comment. Let's see who else we can read. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, the next comment comes from a non Amos, and they said, Hey Jen, if you love to eat, may I recommend researching OMAD one meal a day? I get to eat one big gummy meal a day within one hour eating window, and I am dropping two pounds per week. You may want to read up on it, and join the Read It OMAD, OMAD group for support. I've definitely heard about it. I've seen quite a few YouTubers um, that are doing OMAD and they have had great success from it. The couple days a week, actually four days a week, I am pretty much doing OMAD, although it is a slightly altered version of OMAD because on those days I'm fasting and only me eating dinner on those days so it basically is like kind of like an OMAD um, I certainly don't go all out and have anything I want for that meal but 
on those days I just do eat one meal a day. Um, right now, the obesity code is working for me, and I just personally, I don't want to change it up because it's working so well for me. Um, like I said, I do know there are a lot of YouTubers that are doing one meal a day and it is working wonderful for them. If in the future I ever decide to change things up, it's definitely something I would look into. But for now, I'm happy where I am. Um, but I'm glad that you're having success with it. I can definitely see how it would work. And if you do like to eat, that would be definitely a added benefit to being on that food plan or that way of eating. So definitely, if anybody out there wants to look up, there is evidently a read it group for OMAD that you can do for support. So if you guys are doing that, you could maybe look there for some support. Okay. Hobby who said, girl, I swear I thought you said Jehovah Wax at first. Made me smile. That brush is so cute. Do you think the monthly bags are worth it overall? Girl, I do not know how to pronounce words. I think we all know that by now. So I might have said Jehovah Oil, but it's Jehovah Oil? Jehovah Oil? I'm not exactly sure how you even say it, even now, um, because I'm just not good at pronouncing words I don't know. Um, but the brush is definitely cute. Love the sparkly brush. Love anything with sparkles in it. Do, you, do I think the monthly bags are worth it overall? I definitely think they're worth it if you like makeup, if you like trying makeup. The bag itself is a $10 value, I feel. So... I definitely feel that it is worth the ten dollars okay the next comment I'm not sure this might um, this person might have meant this is a insult but I'm definitely not taking it as an insult because I'm assuming they meant it as an insult because they didn't use the name person's name properly Sandy K Sandy K says you look like foodie booty I'm assuming she means Foodie Beauty, Chantal, and she said that I look like her, and I don't know how Chantal would feel about that because I don't know if I'm as pretty as her, but I definitely take that as a compliment, anybody who would tell me that I look like her, so thank you very much. I'm taking that as a compliment. Um, let's see. I had quite a few people tell me yesterday that my Ipsy video, get the cheese off my mouth, um, my Ipsy video would not load and was not working. I tried to adjust settings and stuff, I don't know. I've had some people say that it was working this morning, I'm not sure why it's not working. Um, I didn't have any problems with the playback, but a lot of people were saying they were having a lot of problems, so if it's still not working, let me know, and I could try up re-uploading it for you guys, if that's something that you guys would like. Um, Mike Olson says, wow, great job. Do this for the next 21 days and then yet another 21 days and you'll be down to 430. We're talking new clothes. Feeling good like a young girl should. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is definitely a part of losing weight that I look forward to is being able to buy all new clothes and smaller clothes. Definitely when you are a smaller size, there is a bigger selection of clothing to choose from. And that is definitely an added benefit to weight loss. So thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate it. Um,
somebody left a comment and I cannot even start to pronounce their name. Um, well, I'll try. Um, it's Abdel Melik Farouk Al Wahid. Probably not the way you say it, but that's my interpretation of how you say it. And they commented, you can barely breathe. Wake the bleep up. Um, I'm not sure where they think that I can't breathe. I can breathe quite fine. Now, excuse me, that was a burp. That was not me choking for air. Um, definitely if you hear me walking, when I do walk and when I exercise, definitely I can hardly breathe. That's when I can hardly breathe. Um talking I'm good I don't know if it sounds like I'm short of breath but I don't feel short of breath when I talk I don't know but I am awake thank you though thank you very much I am woke I am definitely woke <laughs> um, and then a lot of people were saying that it was not working um, a lot of people were saying that they couldn't get my video the video my ipsy video to work on the computer but it was working on the iPhone and then it was finally working so I hope that it was cleared up like I said let me know if it's not here is a fun comment and this is from I'm assuming this is another little rascally rascally trolly trolly not so nice person um sally mccarthy and of course sally has no picture so we don't really know if it's a sally or if it's a trolly -oly, oly um but sally mccarthy says have you ever thought about tasting different ice cream cone flavors ben and jerry's is hiring okay first of all to my knowledge ben and jerry's doesn't have ice cream cones flavors they have ice cream flavors and as I commented to that person not really that much of an ice cream person I can take it or leave it especially if I'm in a binge mode I can definitely eat some ice cream like any good binger could but if little Debbie, little Debbie ever has an opening I'm your girl and I'm right there so there you go that one um, let's see what other comment we can read. Okay, I definitely feel satisfied with my snack now. I finished my two Laughing Cow cheeses. That's how much of the yogurt I ate, less than half of it. And this is what was left of the celery. The stringy stringies. Definitely done my snack. Thank you guys for keeping me company and keeping me from binging. I appreciate it. Um, let's see what other comment I can read. I'll read a couple more and then we'll be done. Oh, here's one. This is a good one. This is from Angela Divine and Conquer. And Angela says, if you're looking for a yogurt that has like three carbs, it's called Fage. It's very good, and it's also plain strained yogurt. Not that seven is bad, though. I have heard Fage is really good. I got this Winko's Triple Zero, and it actually has 21 grams of carbs, but it also has 10 grams of fiber. So it has 11 carbs um, total. So I'll definitely check out the Fage because it sounds like it'd be a better option. I will put that on my grocery list for next time. And one more before we close. Okay, so the last comment is from Zachary Ledford. And Zachary says, you definitely have a very calming, relaxing voice with which I'm positive will do great in the ASMR community. So thank you very much, Zachary. That's very sweet of you. 
I have not done anything on my ASMR channel lately. I need to get back to that. It's a little hard for me to balance two channels as well as just everyday life stuff with my health and stuff. So I'm definitely going to be working on getting something else up on that channel. I'm not quite sure what else to put on that channel. Um, if you guys have any ideas for ASMR type of things, you can leave them in the comments below. Give me your ideas on what I should put on that channel and I will definitely leave a link for that channel in the descriptions. So if you want to check that out, I appreciate it and thank you so much for the comment about my voice. I've actually gotten a lot of comments. People are usually black and white about my voice. Usually they either love my voice and they think it's really calming and I've had a lot of comments, positive comments about my voice and then I've gotten a lot of comments, negative comments about my voice that it's very irritating and gravelly and they can't stand it. So I've never really encountered anyone who was just eh, okay with my voice. It's either, it's either one way or the other. So thank you very much for the kind comment. I appreciate it so much. So there are the comments, reading the comments for today. Thank you guys for helping me to not binge. It was very beneficial to me. It's been almost an hour I've been sitting here talking to you, which I will definitely edit the video down, which you will not see an hour of me yambling on. But it definitely took away my need to eat and definitely helped me. So thank you very much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.